equipment for grinding um, raw grains ah. into flour. And that's going to be done by four bulls tied together to a uh, grinding hub, stone. To a grinding stone. And we hope to be able to be able to sell flour as well. Homemade flour. And of course from that we can make homemade bread. There's no end to this homemade <laughs> stuff. And here we have the big boys. Wow. These are our bulls. They are huge. The difference between a bull and an ox, of course, is one is a castrated male. These are bulls? These are oxen. Oxen. We keep one bull. For breeding. For breeding purposes. Yeah. At the moment, they're all sitting down nicely, chewing the cud. They have five stomachs, and the food goes from one stomach to the other to the other, and then back up again, and then they chew what they ate quite some time ago. So how would you like that, Prahlad? <laughs> to, chew, to chew your last meal two hours after you've actually eaten it. But that's what they do. And it's chewing the cud. They get all the nutrients out. And all the nutrients are then passed into the blood, and the blood creates milk. Now, of course, if you don't eat things made with milk, that's one thing. So, this will be... This will be the grinding area. Cogs, wheels, and chains. What's that for? That's to transfer the energy from oh. there. The okay. power is connected by a long uh, crankshaft, which goes up here, and which will turn these. So you can have one, two, three, four uh, grinding machines going at the same time. These are manufactured in Germany, but we do get some farm equipment from the Amish in America. <laughs> Because they're the only people who still make, make it. Yeah. things. They make things for horses, but of course we find that uh, horse machinery is equally good with bulls. So let's go behind the scenes. Let's see what they spent their money on at the Hare Krishna Temple. <laughs>